Mm, they're salivating. <laughs> Look at there. And one for Ariel. Good job. Good job. Mm. Good Lord, for this day. Holy Spirit, have your way. Lord, we ask that you bless and protect us and our food. And we just thank you, Lord, for all of our many blessings. We ask that you have your way in all things. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, we are going on a little walk in her new stroller. She's ready to go. So, we're about to go. I just wanted to show you all real quick. This is the new stroller that Daddy got. And I love it. It's awesome. I gotta get used to, um, Steering it and everything because it's so different. Let me grab my glasses. So, this is my first time driving it on the road. Road, now you can see. Look at her! <laughs> and so, I'm getting used to, I'm having to get you know, I'm getting used to um, ha the way it handles, but I love it. It is so much better, and you can see her through here. Looks like it, like really cloudy. It looks like it might rain, but let me turn this around. Yeah, it's kind of cloudy. Of course, I'm still wearing my shades. I'm wearing my shades, regardless. But anyways, so we had a great weekend. I hope y'all had a good weekend. We had a great one. Um, Friday night. Let's see, what did we do Friday? Gosh, my memory is shot. <laughs> but um, Saturday we had a game. So Saturday, Ari had her game. Saturday morning, um, well, I can't even speak. All right, so Saturday morning, Ari had her game, her soccer game, and she won. So that was good. It was a really good game. Proud of her for that. And then we came back and pat, like got ready to go and um, went down and spent some time with our family. And we had the best time. Sorry, I'm out of breath. And the sciatic nerve is acting up. Excuse me, it's like just since shooting pain down my leg, my right leg, and then sometimes it goes numb, like it kind of throbs and then tingles and then goes numb, but you still feel it, so it's not like it's completely numb, but anyways, so I'm trying to walk, walk through it, but um, yeah, so we had the best time. We were on the water, my sister, brother-in-law, our nephew, my mom, uh, my brother-in-law's mom was there, my stepdad basically um it's kind of a long story with that there basically but anyways regardless um yeah so it was really good we had a blast so that was nice and then yesterday we were so tired we just kind of chilled around the house because we were so worn out from the day before um, we went out on the boat and we just had a good time um Simon fixed, my brother-in-law, fixed us this South African meal for dinner. So, yes, he's, he's from South, blah, I cannot speak. He's from South Africa. So, he made a really good South African meal. And we just had a great time. But, um, so that was our weekend. And then I got some studying done yesterday. And Cody was so cute and so sweet with Ashton, our nephew. She was loving on him and kissing him and just oh my gosh she was so gentle and so adorable with him and um she was walking all over the place walking 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 everywhere her walk is so cute and she's getting better and better with each day her balance is improving and i'm so proud of her um and so glad that she's walking but yeah she was so tired she slept like a good part of the day yesterday and um my legs were really sore <laughs> I was out there on the pier trying to do a cartwheel, and my back is just, I'm getting old. <laughs> but anyways, Ari, we had a good time. We went on the boat, just John, my stepdad, and um, Joseph, and Ari and I went on the boat. And it was so funny because me and Ari were on the front of the boat, and <laughs> I told John he could go faster. And he went faster, and the bugs were hitting us in the face. Like, it felt like pellets. It was so funny, we were cracking up. But um, anyways, it was a really good time. 
really enjoyed the boat ride and just being with family, you know, there's nothing like it. Um, and just like a side note, this morning I was listening to people, I'm going to slow down a little bit so I can catch my breath. Sorry y'all, I'm out of shape. But I have been walking more recently. Um, but anyways, yeah, I was listening to some people's stories this morning. Somehow, um, well, I listen to, or I watch um, this, these, this couple that are on YouTube. Um, what's their channel? I forget. I'll link it below. But um, they are just such a cute couple. And he is actually paralyzed. So I think that's why, like, a lot of these stories come up on my recommended. But um, his name's Kevin and her name's Cassius. Life, life of K&K. But anyways, I was listening to these stories this morning about... Um, you know, how they got paralyzed and <clears throat> just made me so appreciate my life and my help in a way that I just normally don't, you know, I, I mean, I appreciate life and I appreciate all of our blessings, but, you know, I think we all take things for granted, you know, a lot. And sometimes I get so, so caught up in my, in my own thoughts and mind sometimes over stuff that's just like so not even worth stressing over you know and not worth letting your your peace and joy be stolen satan you know tries everything that he can in any way possible he's going to try to ruin your day and it's up to you to not let him you know but um just listening to these people's stories is you know it was really good for me to i mean it was very sad and tragic like one of the girls you know how it happened she basically got kidnapped and just really sad um they got in a car wreck and that's how she got paralyzed but it just goes to show that it reminded me that you know don't take your life for granted don't take the people in your life for granted every single day every single hour every minute is a blessing really you know the fresh air that you're breathing right now is because god's letting you you know take that breath and i mean at any given second your life can literally change like that you know like in the blink of an eye and it could take a turn for the worst or it could take a turn for the best you know you just never know life is unpredictable and it just got me thinking all right baby we're heading back um it just got me thinking how appreciative i am how blessed i how blessed we are you know and I think, you know, it's common for people to wonder why, why did that have to happen to someone, you know, that's so innocent and, and whatever, but only God knows, you know, only God knows at the end of the day, but I know he has a purpose for every single one of us. And, you know, if you've gone through something like that, you definitely have a story to tell and a testimony that I know a lot of people would benefit, you know, especially like, like that one girl, a lot of young people would benefit from hearing, you know, about that. Um, and, you know, help people, you know, try their hardest to avoid a situation like that. Basically, she was, you know, like at, um, who she thought was a friend's house, you know, hanging out. And then, you know, one thing led to another. They were drinking and doing drugs and whatnot. And then they basically kidnapped her. I mean, you just never know. And then they cried. They just went, like, super fast and crashed into a tree. And poor girl got left. Like, it's just so sad. And just made me really thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you for saving me all those times there's so many times in my life looking back that I could have been in that same situation I mean you know not that exact one but well yeah I mean even with my wreck you know the wreck that I got into back when I was how old was I 18 the wreck that I got into then back then is why I have back problems like I do now um basically but basically looking back i could have been killed or i could have very well been paralyzed you know looking back i mean gosh people can get paralyzed they can you know injure their spinal cord just like one guy was just diving in the water and from the shore just jumping in the water and hit his head the wrong way you know and it's like it can happen that easy and you don't want to live your life in fear you don't want to you know be scared about everything but at the same time it's like with Ari growing up I you know tried to instill 
a healthy, I guess a healthy fear or awareness. I wouldn't say fear because fear is not from, you know, we're not given a spirit of fear from by God, um, you know, but awareness so that she can avoid at all possible, you know, costs, avoid, you know, putting herself in, in a situation to where something bad could happen because, you know, it's just, that's the reality of this world. I mean, you never, it's unpredictable. But at the end of the day, I, I feel like I just, I'm so thankful that God protected me. You know, that wreck, I have to, I really want to find, go back. It's, the pictures are on, like, an, I know they got to be on, like, one of my old little, like, SD cards. Or little chips, computer chips. So I've got to find that, because I wanted to show Joseph and Ari um, the car. Because it was, we were talking about that the other day at my dad's. And, you know, he was saying how he's surprised, you know, he was... I mean, it was bad that I, um, you know, walked away from it because the Dodge Ram, I was basically at a stop in the middle of the road, completely stopped in the middle of the road in a Honda Accord, and a Dodge Ram hit me um, in the middle of the road going, they were going like at least 65 miles an hour, and he was drinking, and he was not even supposed to be driving, he had his license suspended, but back then I just made, I should have, really, I should have not settled, I should have waited and, you know, seen what kind of, but looking back, you know, you can't say what you should have done, whatever, it, it just, it's in the past, and, you know, we are where we are now, and I'm just thankful to be alive, I'm thankful that God saved me from that, I'm thankful I could have very well been paralyzed from that, you know, and all I came out with was, you know, a back problem, and right now, I feel like, you know, my back is aggravated that sciatic nerve from, you know, carrying Nora so much, um, because she's 22 pounds now, um, but now that she's walking, I feel like it'll relieve some of that pressure, because, you know, I think back when I had Ari as a baby, my back was, you know, acting up too, and it seemed to get better, better, so I never had the problem of the sciatic nerve, thank you, the way that it is now, but I, and I feel like if you have faith, if your faith is strong enough, like the Bible says, your faith, if you have the faith of as small as a mustard seed, that's the smallest seed there is, and you know, you can move mountains with your faith, and I've seen, I've gotten a taste of that before when my, my faith was rising, I was seeking God every day, you know, reading the word, praying and everything, I mean, I still do, but not the way that I did, I was at one point recently, I've just been kind of slacking, but, um, I got a taste you know, that seeing that your faith really, you really, your body can be healed. It doesn't matter what, what any doctor says or, you know, statistics or anything like that. God is bigger than, he created everything. <laughs> so, you know, nothing's too big for him. So, if you are in a situation like that, don't let anyone take your hope away and, you know, your chance. No one has the final say, but God, God can, he's healed many things of mine and you know sometimes when I get frustrated that I'm not you know where I want to be sometimes I really have to remind myself where I was and what God has done for me I just keep pushing forward don't look back look forward you know but if you are going to look back look at where you came from and like he's helped me quit smoking me and Joseph you know quit smoking cigarettes completely healed from the addiction from tobacco and weed you know, and that was a huge addiction. Like, I, we were, you know, it was no joke back in the day. And now we have no, absolutely no, whatsoever, no urge or desire for that, for either one of them. So God can do, you know, anything. And you just have to seek him and open your heart and be willing and put the effort. And he'll do it on his time, you know. But you can't try to do it in your own strength. And I think that's my problem is I try to do it in my own strength sometimes. And you can't, you have to fully rely on him. And that's when his power can come through, you know. He's, his strength is made in our weakness. But, um, random, random guy just sitting there. But anyways, so I'm going to talk to Nora. But I hope y'all have a great week. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. And look, here's Nora. Say hey. Hey. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at that pretty girl. Oh, getting your shades on, girl. You're getting your shades on. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. One thing I did want to add is Ari had a blast at the beach, and she went to the beach this past week, and I'm so happy she's home. And she is so sweet. She got us all three. She had her little money, and she spent it on us. Hey guys, so look at this mug. This is so sweet. Ari, I love. This is my new mug that Ari brought me back from the beach. She went to the beach. She's home now. <clears throat> but she brought, um, she had her own little money, and she bought, brought back me this. Joseph, and it's got a little top too, um, but Joseph, she got him a t-shirt. And she got Nora a little stuffed animal. It was so sweet of her. I'm just, I'm like, so impressed that she thought of us and, you know, spent her money on us. That was so nice. I'm just so proud of her for being so thoughtful. I love her so much. I'm getting us something. She went to the beach with her friend and I was just like, oh my gosh, she is such an angel. So sweet and thoughtful. And I just love her so much. So she's back at school today and, um, they don't have much school left though. They'll be out in a couple months. So I'm looking forward to the summer. But anyways, I will talk to you later. Bye. Pretty. Pretty. You don't want to sit up here? Pretty. Dang, y'all, she is so into this movie. She never ignores me like this. This is crazy. I just, I'm on the couch, and I asked her if she wanted to come sit up here with me, but she doesn't, because she wants to be close to the TV screen. She loves this movie. Look at her. And I just asked her if she wants to, I said, you want to come sit up here? And she said, no, no, and she shook her head, no. <laughs> Get it, girl. Woo! Uh. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her. All right, I'll let you enjoy your movie. I'm gonna move her couch up so she can sit down. She is peeled to the TV.